Growing and caring for bonsais can be very tricky, especially for you beginners out there. Today I want to talk about the tools that you'll be needing to make great bonsais, because it's enough that it's tricky for you to grow them and shape them, but if you don't have the right tools, it will be even harder to make bonsai. So this is my tool pot, okay? I need to get a bigger pot. Uh, they're just piling up year after year. I'm getting more of them because they help you out, but don't be scared, okay? I like them this way. I grow bonsai indoors, so uh, I don't worry about this. Uh, they don't get rained on, snowed on. They don't get extreme cold, extreme heat. So it's not a problem. They can sit like this. And I like them because I can pull them out. I can see them and I can pull out whatever I need. Just like many of you bonsai beginners, this is the only thing that I had at first. This is just a basic pruner for outdoor gardening. But if it's a good brand, uh, it's okay for start. So, so you can just start into this hobby. I'm gonna present to you all of these tools today, but I don't want you to get discouraged into this to start into this hobby so let's start with this basic pruning shears this is just a, a basic tool i still use it buy a good brand this is not sponsored or anything but please buy a good brand so they can chop they can cut very very clean i still use this for bigger branches okay because when i'm forming bonsai I have to prune back and this is very good for bigger branches and also for, for very big roots. So it's a very good tool. So these are the bonsai scissors. This is a dedicated tool for bonsai. This also isn't quite a fancy scissor. You can get very fancy scissors from very big and expensive but very very good brands. Well, this is not a good brand. This is from China, it's okay, you can, there are brands from China that make very good tools, but this is fine. You cannot replace this with anything, okay? This is a must, because it's made especially for pruning bonsai. So you cannot replace this with anything. Also, these are concave cutters. Whenever you're pruning a big branch, they make a concave hole like this. Okay, they cut just like this. Again, you cannot replace this with anything else. It only uses for bonsai. Okay, so it's, it's a must. It's also a must. You can use it for uh, big roots also. But the idea, as you can see, yeah, the idea is that when you're pruning a branch that grows from a trunk or from another branch and you want to take that off, the cut that it makes, it's concave like this, it leaves a, like a gap in the trunk, okay? It, it makes a, a gap, a concave gap, that helps the, the trunk or the branch heal over very nicely. This is a tool that I love. These are also concave cutters, but this is a slim concave cutter. You see how small it is by comparison? Okay, it's much, much, much smaller. I love this tool. I think I use this the most because I don't have such big trees. And also when it's crowded in the crown, I can get through narrow, very narrow spaces that I can just cut down branches, okay? Leaving a concave cut. And uh, also I can get rid of older twigs that I left when I just prune the tree. This is from a very good brand. This, this is from Japan. At some point, it, it begins to matter, okay? The brand begins to matter because the better the tool is, the easier it will be to make a good bonsai. Knives. I've got two knives here. This I use just to cut down the, the root on the side of the pot when I'm repotting, when I'm trying to get the tree out of the pot. There's a dedicated knife like this for bonsais, but I don't have it. So I just use these two. This is also a very, very sharp knife uh, that has a, an extremely thin blade. I use this for a lot of things, uh, including when I sharpen my 
okay, when I sharpen my chopsticks. And this leads us to the next thing. One of the most important tools that you can get are these Chinese chopsticks that you use to arrange the soil when you're repotting your bonsai. Tweezers. These are little tweezers that I use for various things like cleaning the surface of the pot and various, just various things. These are wire cutters. You will be needing this. Uh, you can replace it with a little tool, but uh, it's just so dangerous because this has sharp blades, but at the top here it isn't sharp. So you can put it on the branch and cut the wire off. These are used for cutting wires, okay? But also, because you can cut wires with almost anything, but also they're best for cutting the wires of a bonsai. This is a must because you cannot get the wires off a bonsai in any other way that is correct. So because we talked about this tool that okay, cuts wires down, now we must talk about wires. Okay, This is also a must when you're making bonsai because otherwise you cannot shape a bonsai correctly. The uh, pruning growth method that uh, I'm sure you heard about, uh, it's a good method, but uh, you're just at the mercy of the tree and uh, by using wires, you can make the tree do what you want. Okay, if you're building something complicated like a cascade, okay, uh, I don't know, maybe a windswept style or you cannot do it without wires, okay? So you'll discover that these three types of wires are just about everything you need and they will cover all your needs for indoor trees okay this is a three millimeter wire at first i didn't think that i would need this such a thick wire but over the years i've discovered that i cannot do without this three millimeter wire it's just so good uh, i can use it for trunks i can use it for thicker branches it's, it's just so 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 handy okay this is the first the second this is a two millimeter wire i use this most of my time most of the time this is good for tying the trees the bonsai to the pots this is uh, just such a universal wire and i use it for a lot a lot of things and of course we have the one millimeter wire this is used for very thin branches and I also use it when I'm uh, repotting very small trees that are potted in very small pots. I use this. This is just very, very good. They come in various colors, but they're all aluminum inside, okay? They're just painted on the outside and they're dedicated, they're made this type of wire is only only made for bonsai. You can bend them so easily, but in the same time, they're extremely, extremely resistant, extremely, extremely hard. So you can bend them very, very easily, okay? And they stay like this and they're very, very, very hard and resistant. Pliers. I use this for the wires when I'm tying the trees to the pot. I grab the wires, pull on them, twist them, pull on them, twist them. Bonsai brushes. This is also a must because you sometimes you must clean the trunks and the branches of the trees and you will need this for your bonsai kit. So this is a normal, this is uh, made from metal. It's uh, mostly for pots, okay? When I'm cleaning pots and they have uh, limestone deposits uh, things that uh, just are harder, harder to clean. I don't use this on my on my trunks because this is, is it's just too 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 hard. What I use is this dedicated this the dedicated bonsai brush. It's made from plastic, but it's a very tough plastic. It's it's extremely resistant and tough. It's also got a triangular shape and it thins out and also bends near the top. It's thinner here, okay, and thicker here. This is a very, very good, just 
uh, put it in vinegar and brush, 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 brush the, the trunk of the tree. Bonsai mesh, okay? It's from plastic, it's very resistant, it's a little thick, okay? You can cut it in the right size that you need and it's used for covering up the little holes in bonsai pots, okay? Because bonsai pots tend to have big holes and that's very, very good. You have to tie this mesh. So first you cut it the right size and you have to tie it with bonsai wires because this not only holds it in place, but it helps when I come in with my wires, tie the tree to the pot, the wire here holds them in place. You will need a scoop. This is a, an aluminium scoop. Of course, I use it for scooping <laughs> the bonsai substrate when I'm making the bonsai mixes, when I'm repotting the tree, taking the bonsai soil mix and just fill the pot. Uh, you can use a plastic bottle, you can cut down the top from a plastic bottle. That's what I used at first. And last but not least, of course, it's the miscellaneous tools that I have in my bonsai toolkit. Uh, they're not dedicated for bonsai, but they're doing the job very, very good. So this is a tool for, for your fingernails, for your cuticles. Uh, I don't use this so often, but it's very good for very delicate pruning. I've got, of course, a brush, mainly it's uh, just a normal brush. I can clean the, when I repot, I can clean the soil. It's very, very nice. It's good to have. This is a sharpening tool because I use it uh, to sharpen my cutting tools. And of course, <laughs> as you can see, I have a, a teaspoon and I have a tablespoon. I use this after I repot. I just push on the sides of the bonsai potting mix like this because they, the potting mix needs to go like this. Otherwise, when you're watering your tree, the water will flow outside the pot. If it's arranged like this and there's a small little gap here, when you're watering, the water will go in your pot. So this is my uh, little toolkit box, bonsai toolkit, uh, bonsai tool pot, <laughs> okay? Uh, but here are some things that I could never go without. Uh, starting with this little fellow here, this Chinese chopstick, this is such a versatile and easy to get and uh, you basically get it for free when you're ordering Chinese food. Uh, just keep them, uh, eat with your fork like we do, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and save this because I cannot report without this, I cannot reach the substrate without this. This is, uh, I think, the, the most important tool, okay? Second of all, the scissors, the bonsai scissors, the dedicated bonsai scissors. I cannot go without this. Also, pruning shears. I like this, uh, it's, it's very good. Uh, I've told you I'm using it to cut down big roots, big branches, and it also saves my dedicated uh, bonsai tools uh, because I don't force them on bigger stuff and they last for longer. The concave cutters. These are also a very important thing. They're a must. You must have this. Of course, nowadays I'm using the slim ones because I have smaller trees, but for bigger trees and bigger branches, uh, this is also a must. Uh, wire cutters, because I cannot cut the wires without this. I tie my trees uh, to the pot. I tie the branches to shape the bonsai and uh, I use, of course, wires. Also, I cannot go without wires, bonsai wires. And, of course, little pliers to tie the trees to the pot. They're very, very good. So, these are the tools that I cannot go without. The rest of them, you can go without them first. But, uh, little by little, you'll discover a lot of tools that make your life easy. Of course, we're talking about bonsai. And, uh, as I told you, in this hobby, in this art, there's always, always more. Uh, I don't know, like this little toothbrush that you can use also to clean various things. Uh, there's some uh, cutting paste, wound paste, okay? 
when you're making the cuts you have to seal them uh, it depends on ficuses you don't have to books bonsai books okay this is also a tool that uh, you need to make good bonsai at first uh, at least and this is not all there's more and more and more but i don't want you to get discouraged because in bonsai there's a lot of do-it-yourself stuff even great bonsai masters uh, sometimes they they make things that uh, they need to use and they make them on the spot there's a lot of do-it-yourself stuff so don't just look for excuses Okay, go start bonsai, go start making bonsai now.